the rock, the river, and the tree, all symbols of our primal spirituality, something primal in our life experience, real entities in the natural world that remind us of primal things. The rock, that which is stable on which we stand, the rock of reality, what is true and what is real, that asks us to turn away from all that is false and unreal, all that is only man-made and not God-made. The rock of reality, not only the rock of physical things, but the rock of things that we cannot see, but which are even more real than the physical things that we can see, even more unchanging and eternal than the things that we can see. The rock of reality. As we stand upon the rock of reality, something else happens. We find that we're standing by the river, standing at the riverside. We see and know the flow of life. We see it all around us. The river of life said to split at the Godhead into four great rivers, four great forces in our life experience, water, air, earth, and fire, all part of the flow of the one river, the river of life. We stand upon the rock. We stand by the riverside and enter in and know the flow of the river. We claim what is ours to know. Our primal spirituality. And we become a tree. Deeply rooted in the earth deeply rooted in the lowest levels of being, in the volcanic nature of Earth itself, with its molten core, and the urge of life, the urge of creation, arises up through us in our rootedness, The compulsion of life is strong, and we feel it. It rises up in us. It is our lineage, that life compulsion. And so we branch out into our worlds and give life. 